Right now on Thornton 360, City Council recognizes the service of two longtime employees. And Thornton PD shines a spotlight on the issue of porch pirates ruining the holiday season. Thornton 360 starts right now. Hello and welcome to Thornton 360. I'm Lisa Wilson. And I'm Todd Barnes. Thanks for joining us. We start this edition of Thornton 360 with a look back at the last city council meeting. Council amended city code to expand the city's graffiti removal program. The program was started back in 2008, focused just on single family homes. It was expanded in 2009 to homeowner association properties, expanded again in 2010 to include condominium properties, and again in 2011 to include commercial business properties. Um, what exists now um, is pretty good coverage throughout the city with the exception of apartments and manufactured home park properties and bed and breakfast retirement homes and dormitories so we started a pilot program in march of 2017 to evaluate whether the program could um, incorporate those additional land uses into the program we found um, that the number of incidents was fairly low and so um, staff recommends approval of the ordinances drafted. This ordinance would expand the program to pretty much include all properties in the city. Um, any graffiti that would be, um, that's visible to public view from a, generally from a public place, um, would be included in the free removal program. Council also recognized Bruce McCrae for his many contributions during the past 20 years of dedicated service to the city of Thornton. He is that has the perfect personality for the job that he has. It is not easy to uh, get phone calls and emails from people all day saying, my computer doesn't work, my software doesn't work, my phone doesn't work, whatever it is, uh, and have to deal with frustrated folks all day. Um, but Bruce shows up every day with a smile on his face, um, wanting to mingle with people, wanting to interact, wanting to help solve their problems. And he's the same guy uh, that he was 20 years ago. And so again, I was telling him a little bit earlier today that I think his personality suits his role perfectly. Uh, and he literally is the same person that we are 20 years ago. So uh, kudos to him and uh, Bruce, thanks for your service. Appreciate it. Detective Greg Berry was recognized on his retirement from the Thornton Police Department after 30 years of service. Well, first of all, I just want to say it's an honor to kind of share the spotlight with Bruce because uh, he's a great guy, and congratulations to you. And I want to thank the city of Thornton for putting up with me for 30 years. And, you know, it may seem like a long time. I mean, you're not even that old. But, <laughs> <laughs> but it's been an honor, I think, for thank the police department, and it, it's been great serving the citizens, and I hope I've done the best job I can do. Thank you. To see the entire City Council meeting, tune to Xfinity Channel 8 or visit cityofthornton.tv. As the weather gets colder, thieves get bolder. So Thornton police ask that you not leave your car running to warm it up. Here's why. A puffer is a vehicle that's left running usually during cold weather times and you can see the tailpipe emissions being emitted from the, uh, the vehicle. Just lets people know that the car is running and then they can tell whether there's a driver in there or not. In the state of Colorado, it is against the law to leave your vehicle running unattended with the keys in the ignition. So we're just asking people to be aware that this crime could possibly occur. And on average, seven cars are stolen every day in the state of Colorado due to puffers. Remote starts are within the confines of the law. As long as the keys aren't in the ignition, you should be fine. With remote start, we still do suggest that you leave your vehicle uh, locked, you know, prevent somebody from getting in and stealing anything outside of the vehicle. We're in the middle of puffer season. Typically, that's when we see an increase of auto thefts based on people leaving their vehicles running unattended with the keys in the ignition. And it does set you up for a crime of opportunity, which means that we've got criminals that are driving around our city looking for vehicles that are left running unattended with the keys in the ignition, and it makes an easy opportunity for them to get away with your vehicle. Tis the season for porch pirates. They're the people who steal unattended packages off of porches. Thornton police want you to be on the lookout. Last several years, obviously, people have been uh, using you know, the internet to purchase gifts for family, friends, and whatever. It's created an opportunity for you know, the criminal element to come into those neighborhoods and really it 
go onto these uh, these porches and take items that don't belong to them. We know them as porch pirates. And it's not necessarily just a holiday issue. It's a year-round issue that we see. So it's real important that you take those extra steps, either by taking it to a business to, or having it delivered to a business where it can be uh, secured for you, or just working with your neighbors, or even making sure that you're around when that delivery gets there, just to be a little bit more secure and making sure that you get your packages when you expect to get them. Thornton PD encourages you to track your packages. Ask a neighbor to watch for delivery. In return, you watch out for your neighbor's deliveries, or best case, have your package delivered to your work if possible, or to a secured delivery locker. Thornton Trash and Recycling Service will be on a one-day holiday delay the weeks of Christmas Day and New Year's Day. If your normal trash recycle pickup day is Monday, it'll be picked up on Tuesday and so forth throughout the week, with Friday picked up on Saturday. The week of December 26th, Thornton Trash and Recycling customers can place flattened holiday boxes and bagged wrapping paper at the curb for collection on your regular trash day. There are some restrictions. Go to cityofthornton.net for more information. Our dry winter means you should still be watering your trees and grass. For trees, apply 10 to 15 gallons of water per inch of the diameter of your tree. That's for every month up through Easter. For grass, apply half inch to one inch of water to the lawn per month all the way through Easter if it's still remaining dry. Consider a drip line system to make it a little easier. The holiday season kicked off recently with Winterfest. Here's a look at Thornton's popular holiday festival. If you want to stay up on what's happening in the city of Thornton, follow us on social media. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Nextdoor. You can also find Thornton Fire and Thornton Police on Twitter and Nextdoor as well. That's it for this edition of Thornton 360. I'm Todd Barnes. And I'm Lisa Wilson. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.